Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be reviewing the brand new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I am so excited for the new launch of this foundation, you guys. I love their whole like Pretty Fresh line. Um, and I never actually got to try out their Pretty Fresh like tinted moisturizer and I'm a huge fan of tinted moisturizers. So I'm pretty sure this foundation will be good, especially for us girls that have dry skin. So right now we are headed to Ulta to go on the hunt for some of the Pretty Fresh foundation. Um, I did call ahead and they said they had uh, basically double of all the shades so um, fingers crossed that we get to find my shade um, I'll probably get one or two shades to make sure I get the perfect match but yeah I'll talk to you guys whenever we get to Ulta and hopefully we can get some of the foundation but first Starbucks run. Take both of them. Guys, I said, okay, I'm just gonna take this one. Then I'm okay, let's go. And she's like, okay, hold on. I, I think I'm gonna have to take this one too. I think I'm gonna be fine with this yes, one. Yes, I'm not. Shade Light 70. We just got out of Ulta. Um, I'm usually really good at picking my shades, but I obviously have to swatch them on. Um, the first one I had, I was originally gonna get, it looked a little bit too light. I'm going with the shade Medium ADW. So hopefully it's a pretty good match. If not, this video's ruined. All right, you guys, so I am back at home and I am ready to test out this bad boy for you guys. I am so excited for this foundation. Like, I was so excited when I saw that they were launching this foundation because I never got to try their pretty fresh tinted moisturizer and everyone would like rave about it. This is what the um, foundation bottle looks like. This is their pretty fresh hyaluronic acid uh hyaluronic hydrating foundation so cute i love it um i got shade medium adw and i'm gonna test it out for you guys see what i think about it i'm gonna give you guys all my thoughts about it and we're gonna see what this is all about so i'm gonna go right now on their website to give you guys some of the claims on the foundation launched i believe a couple days ago so it says that the foundation is oil free vegan dermatologist tested ideal for all skin types they have 42 shades and they are 16 dollars each their darkest shade is deep dark 215n and their lightest shade is fair 03c so that is all the shades but it says get natural healthy looking skin with this skin perfecting medium buildable coverage foundation and i did um swatch it on my hand after i bought it i wasn't actually able to swatch any of the shades in store because of the whole virus and everything so um hopefully let's just cross our fingers that this shade will match me pretty good and also before we get into testing out the foundation so i was on tiktok live not too long ago and i told you guys that i wanted to start doing like wine talks with liz where i do like advice I, like I give you guys advice because it can ask me questions and I'll just chill with you guys answer you guys questions talk to you guys while I drink some wine or something like that but I'm just not sure what to call that um, so for this little review I'm gonna be drinking some mimosas with you guys um, so I had tried mimosas once before and I didn't really like them to be honest I also have a bottle of wine in the freezer just in case I don't end up liking these but my friend told me to get um, this this, uh, it's not champagne. I thought it was champagne, but now that I'm reading it, it says Italian sparkling wine. So I guess it's a wine. Um, she told me to get this one or this blue one, but she said that this one was better. And I got a couple of the bottles like last time and I didn't like it. So, I mean, maybe I just have to put less of this sparkling wine and also I didn't know if I wanted to do these type of videos because YouTube literally, literally demonetized me for 
like no reason at all like for literally every little thing I do so I just have to be careful so make sure if you guys are drinking anything with me you guys are of the legal age to drink um, if not just don't drink at all I'm scared okay it opened up pretty easily so it's fine I don't know you guys I love wine too so I'm gonna just pour do you pour this in first or do you pour in the orange juice I think I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of this all right, I think you do pour in the orange juice first okay. Let me know in the comments box below. This was all in the freezer for a little while So it's pretty cold because I cannot drink anything hot So we're gonna do some orange juice and I'm barely gonna do any of that to be honest And I'm also not gonna get drunk like wasted you guys just to like chill out and relax a little bit because um, I have to do stuff today, so we're just gonna be doing a little bit So make sure you guys let me know in the comments box below if you guys want to see more videos like this Where maybe I'll have some mimosas with you guys and do all different types of videos Or I'll have some wine with you guys Let me know in the comments box below what I should start naming these little videos Especially if they're like reviews um, I don't know how to kind of incorporate this in there So let me know what you guys think I should do Okay, I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of this Because I didn't like it last time you guys Okay, just like that. Oh, that was like half the bottle. What the heck? It's because the bottle's tiny. It's pretty good. Ooh, cheers. Okay, so that actually is pretty good. I think maybe the first time I had them, I just did not like it because I probably put a lot of the wine in there. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and get right into the foundation review part. I'm so excited to try out this foundation. I'm gonna start off by going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Setting Mist or the spray, but um, I have it in this Farsali little bottle because Bubby literally bit the cap off of the spray and it literally would not spritz anymore, but I could not make myself throw it away because I love this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and Spritz my face with this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. You guys know I love this stuff. I stopped using it for a little while, but I always come back to this one. It's because I honestly have like so many Holy Girl products. Oh shit, I almost spilled it. I was looking on like the YouTube like community guidelines and it doesn't say anything about drinking. So, I mean, and I'm also not gonna get wasted and technically I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm 21, I can drink. This is what the foundation looks like. Um, I believe it's a plastic bottle. Yeah, I believe it's a plastic bottle. And then this is what the pump looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pump out a little bit of this onto my hand. This is what it looks like. It is a little bit runny. It looks not like, it looks okay. It doesn't look like a horrible match. So I think it will match pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize a lot. The shade that was one lighter than this one looked like it would be way too light. Um, I think it looks okay. I definitely think we can make this one. Better. It definitely looks a little bit darker than my face, but my face is very, very pale, you guys. So keep that in mind. I never, I never match my foundation to my face anyways. I always match it to like my shoulders because my shoulders are way darker and my body is way darker than my face. So I think we have a good start. I think we could we could definitely make this work. Go ahead and just apply this on how I normally would. Um, I'm gonna do just half of my face so that you guys can see the difference on the other half. Let me move my hair out of my Face. I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender like a beauty sponge. This is the Araceli beauty um, Blending sponge and I am obsessed with this. This is my brand new um, favorite Beauty blender It is so so good. I will make sure I'll make sure that I link it down below for you guys If you guys do want to check it out I'm gonna just go ahead and go in It says it's like medium coverage. So I'm expecting a little bit more than the tinted moisturizer because it's not a tinted moisturizer. Oh. I think it looks really good, you guys. And I barely applied any so far. I did about one pump. 
I do think a little bit of this is gonna go a long way because it is pretty runny. You guys, I'm loving this. It definitely, I can see why they say it's like, um, like it gives you that perfect skin look because it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on, but my skin looks amazing. Can you see that? Oh my God, it looks so good. And make sure you blend down your neck and blend onto your ears as well. But it looks like basically on just half of my face. Also, if you, can, if you guys can hear the dogs in the background, they literally won't stop biting. Like there's nothing I can do. This is what the foundation looks like on just one half of my face. I do think the color match is pretty good. If I do say so myself. Oh my god, I love this! Do you guys see the difference? Like, I think if I did this, if I wore this foundation like on an everyday basis and just really blended it in, it, blended it in and only did like one pump for my whole face, I honestly don't think people would really be able to tell that I had makeup on. Do you guys see the freaking battle to the death that's going on back there? <sighs> They're so ridiculous! This is so good, you guys. Oh my god, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Let me look at it up close. It looks really, really good, you guys. I really like it. Um, I do have... I've been breaking out quite a lot, you guys. So I do have um, a few breakouts right there. And it does say that it is buildable. I, I personally like the coverage that it's giving me right now. It's not too crazy, not too much. It looks very, very natural. But just because they claim that it's buildable, let's go ahead and see if that's true. I added a little bit more and I'm gonna try to see if it'll cover up like these blemishes right here a little bit better. Oh yeah, yeah, you can definitely build this up. Yep, you can definitely build this up to be, to be more of like a medium coverage. But you can also get like light coverage out of it if you would like. I'm loving this. I also don't have my eyebrows on already just because I'm going for more of like a natural everyday look today. And I'm not going to do my eyebrows that crazy. I love this. I am in love with this. I've honestly been more into like the tinted moisturizer look. Oh my god, and it makes your skin look so good, you guys. Like, my skin looks amazing. Um, I do have dry skin, by the way. Um, so, I'm not sure how it would work for anyone that has oily skin. Um, it does say that it is for all skin types. I can't really um, tell you guys if that's true or not because I don't have oily skin. My skin is very, very dry. But oh my god, I'm loving the way that this looks on my skin. You guys can see, this half has none. And this half is the one with the foundation. Also, I know it's very obvious my face is way more pale than this, but I think it's a pretty good color match. Like, like I think it matches pretty good with my body. And obviously, once I set it and everything, do my concealer and everything, I'm pretty sure I can tweak it to be a pretty good match. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm obsessed. Cheers. huge fan of orange juice so this is like a bomb drink you guys okay I'm gonna go ahead and do one more pump it even made my hand look really really good I'm gonna do one more pump and then I, honestly I even think that one pump is way too much but I'm gonna do the other half of my face I'm curious as to how much is their um, other foundation not the tinted moisturizer but Oh yeah, see, that's one pump, and it's honestly a lot. I think you could do your whole face with one pump. So their original foundation, their natural matte foundation, is only $12. This is only four more dollars. Um, I don't know, I think I definitely think it's worth it. Only $16 for a really, really good foundation. I think ColourPop has some really, really amazing products, you guys, for such good uh, price, such a good price, and you get really, really good quality. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the other side. I love it and it blends like a dream. 
It's literally like another layer of skin. And this is what the foundation looks like on my face. No powder, no nothing. I definitely think it looks like another layer of skin. You can see like, it just makes your skin look pretty, I think. I definitely think that if you want like full, full, full coverage, this is not gonna be for you. I think this would be a really good like everyday foundation. Go ahead and apply some concealer now. And I'm just using the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Pearl. I just do about that much. I'm obsessed. I like to let my concealer sit on my face for like a minute just for it to dry a little more. I feel like it gives you more coverage like that. This is really good, you guys. Make another mimosa while my concealer dries. We're gonna add the orange juice and then we'll do this. We'll do a little bit of this. And then I think I have enough for like one more if I really wanted it. Okay. So we have enough for like three mimosas. Three mimosas is, like, is good. It's not too crazy. We're not getting too crazy. We're keeping it classy. And I'm happy because I think it is a pretty good color match. Like, it's not crazy. I thought it wasn't going to fit me at all. Oh, it's about to be sad. Love it, love it, love it. I'm surprised I like this because I'm telling you guys, I bought, like, two different, like, types of, like, this is, like, a sparkling one, but the other one was a champagne, too, and I didn't like it at all. My skin looks like now. With just the concealer, the foundation. I'm gonna set with some powder. This is the ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder. This is their soft pink one. I really like this one. And it's very, very affordable too. Now my under eyes are baking and it's time for another mimosa. I need to chill because I feel like I'm kind of feeling these mimosas. I'm a pretty lightweight to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna do um, the orange juice and I think I'm just gonna do the rest of this little bottle. There's not a lot left in it anyway, so yeah. Today we're just gonna drink this, you guys, okay? The whole point of this video is more of like a review, not really for me to get wasted. I don't know if I should do like a video next time where I answer you guys' questions or give you guys advice on stuff and I'll show you guys. Um, I showed you guys in my last vlog um, the drink that I've been liking, the one with the tequila and the sour mix. Maybe I'll drink those that day because I have two little tiny bottles of tequila still. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move it on, move on. So far though, I really like this foundation. Let me put you guys, let me show you guys more up close. This is what it looks like when it's all set. I think it gives me pretty good coverage and just looks pretty to be honest. Up for my makeup, I'm going in with some blush. This is the BH Cosmetics um, Wonderlust uh, Primer Infused Blush in the shade Mykonos. You guys know I love blush and this is super pigmented so I always have to be so careful with it. You guys see that? on the tops of my cheekbones. Yeah, I look like a clown after I'm done applying my blush. 
but I promise you it looks good. In the, I look like a literal clown right now. It looks good in the end though, I promise you guys. God, I applied a lot of blush right there. Whoa! I'll blend it up, don't worry guys. And then usually whatever's left on my brush, I'll kind of just put it where I put my bronzer at. I'm obsessed with, with blush, you guys. Literally obsessed. I'll take this little brush and kind of buff it out because I've added quite a lot. Okay. And then I'll take a little brush and I'll add some bronzer. Mimosas are basically my breakfast. I haven't really eaten anything today besides the iced coffee I had. And then, um, you guys know I love to contour my nose, but honestly, like today I'm doing a very natural look, so I don't really care too much to contour my nose. But I mean, I'll do a little bit just, just, just for funs, for funsies. We're basically done with the mimosas, you guys. Three is a good number. We didn't have too many. What time is it? It's 4.12, but almost 5 o'clock, right? <laughs> right? Cheers. We're done. Okay, we're done because I guess that one little bottle is good for me. <laughs> Um, it's not too much. It's not too, we're not getting too crazy. We're just hanging out. We're just we're just two friends hanging out, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do dust off this powder. It's like freezing in here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the um, pretty fresh spray. This is basically the foundation, what it's looking like now that it's set. I'm so happy that the color match is actually really good, you guys. Like, it looks good, right? I love it. I'm in love with it. It looks really, really good. It looks like skin. Um, once again, I'm using the shade Medium ADW. So if you guys are um, my foundation twins, this is the one I'm using. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyebrows, my, and I'm gonna put on some eyelashes, and then I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and finished off pretty much the rest of my makeup. I did wanna show you guys the lip combo that I've been loving though. Um, I did already line my lips. Um, I use the Morphe Honeymoon Lip Liner. This is like my go-to lip liner, and then I'm gonna show you guys like the best nude lip combo that i've been loving i've been obsessed with these bh cosmetic cashmere creams they're like little lipsticks and oh my god you guys they're so good um they are like in between they're more of like a satin finish but i have been obsessed with the shade roast and also the shade tea these are like my two go-to's and i just apply this like so Just a thin layer and I just think it's like the perfect nude shade and they feel so good on your lips they feel so lightweight they don't look drying they don't feel drying I am obsessed with these and then what I will do is I'll take like a napkin or like a paper towel I mean if I'm just gonna wear it like this then I'll just leave it like this but if I'm doing a gloss on top I don't want it to be too much so I kind of just take a paper towel and wipe off any excess and then my favorite gloss ever has been this one, also from BH Cosmetics. This is their So Extra Gloss in the shade Gem. It comes in like a little um, two-pack of them. One of them's a shimmery one, and one of them is just like a like a basic nude gloss. I will link these down below. If you guys do want to shop my BH Cosmetic favorite, I will also link that down below, and you guys can use the code Lizeth to save money, which I will have on the screen as well. I think BH Cosmetics has some really amazing products, also really, really, really affordable. 
and I just love a lot of their stuff. Also, brush sets. They have really amazing brush sets. If you need some new brushes or, it, or, or are in the search of new brushes, I definitely recommend their brush sets because they're so affordable and so, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And I also love these glosses because they're not um, sticky whatsoever. And it's so, so pretty. That is the finished lippy. It's so, so cute. So I did want to show you guys what the foundation is basically looking like. I think it looks really, really natural. It looks really, really pretty on the skin. And I'm really proud of myself. Give me a pat on the back because I think I did a pretty pretty good job at the color match. Ignore the mess in the back. But what do you guys think? That is pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I definitely do recommend this foundation. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I just am obsessed with it. I think it's going to be like my brand new go-to everyday foundation. It just looks so pretty. It makes my skin look pretty. And it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey whatsoever. We'll have a link down below for the foundation if you guys do want to check it out. I definitely think it's worth the money. And I definitely think if you're on the search for a new foundation, especially if you have dry skin i think you guys will really like this i think you guys should give this a go um and that is pretty much it for this video please go ahead and give me a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it leave me a comment down below um what you guys thought of the video um what you guys want to see from me next and also go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you guys are new to my channel and i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys